Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. I thought I'd share with you my online auction purchases. This is not it. This is just to explain that a typical Chinese cash coin from about the Qing Dynasty, uh, for this particular issue a little bit over 100 years old, is about the same size of a US quarter and it is made of brass. And the obverse would have the emperor's name and the back would be the mint mark. So the front would be in Chinese characters and the back would be in Manchu script as they were um, a ruling class but from a minority in China. Basically what it was called Manchuria. Well anyways, my online purchases were basically these high denomination cash coins which are usually hard to come by especially the authentic ones and basically um, this emperor is called Xian Feng and Yuan Bao you know basically it's his uh, initial currency um, so uh, with these ones, um, this one has a, I, I believe it's a uh, defect when they were finishing the coin because it doesn't look um, like any new exposed brasses showing. Uh, sometimes they did that, you know, they cast these in sand molds and then snapped it off of the um, main you could say tree of the casting and then filed them down so quality control wasn't super high back then you know if it was you know good enough they just um, issued them to the public but these ones here you have equal to 100 and here is boo I guess it means coin or mint and this is Kloan. Kloan uh, basically means um, the uh, Board of Revenue, one of the central mints. And this one is the same. And then this one is the special one. This is equal to a thousand. So we're talking about a string of cash. Uh, basically a thousand of these was equivalent to one Chinese ounce or a tail T-A-E-L of silver back in the day so that was about 36 to 38 grams of silver and these ones basically a hundred of these so with this mint mark it's a uh, Bu Yuan um, so basically they were from the central mints both in Peking or Beijing what they call these days and this was from the Board of Public Works so catalog value I think these ones were roughly about thirty dollars but actually market value I think I could probably sell them for about a hundred maybe hundred twenty five dollars each for these huge coins and this one catalog value in this condition is about 280 but market price generally these probably would fetch closer to $500 and I got all three of these for about $100 give or take uh, including shipping which is awesome so let's say if I were to sell them five, six, seven, seven hundred dollars worth of antique Chinese coins for roughly a hundred dollars, which is not bad. But most likely they will stay in my collection. Uh, this is a slight variety on these two coins where you notice uh, the character of the 100 is slightly bigger than this one. And there's a little bit difference of the boo how it extends out because you know they would have um, 
a few different master coins. So, you know, they were hand engraved back then and, um, well, the samples that were used to cast these. So there would be slight differences, variations. But not bad, pretty good deal. Main thing is, um, you know, when you're looking for these, you know, there's a lot of fakes out there, but you definitely have to buy the book before you buy the coin. So what I noticed, um, the patina looked very good, especially the pitting here is normal because it was a sand cast mold. And what I liked about these coins, the striations, because they way they finished these were when they snapped it off of the uh, casting sprue, you know, the connections, uh, you know, when they poured the metal after it's cooled down, uh, they finished it with a file across the face, like in one, you know, I guess back and forth, which was um, the recorded method. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, these pickups. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker out.